guys, how's it going? It's Nicolette from Nicolette Ivy Photography, and this is my channel all about photography related things and whatnot. So, today's video <laughs> is going to be about preparing for a photo shoot. Like, what I do, some tips that might help you guys, you know, things of that nature. First, what I do is make sure that my camera is charged. I have a Canon 60 and it charges relatively quickly. Um, I always make sure that it has a full charge. When you're at a shoot, it's hard to like gauge how much battery you're going to use and whatnot. So I like to keep it at full charge as much as possible because I have had shoots where the camera has died and that really sucks. I just make sure that it is at a complete charge. Even if it's at a half charge, I have to completely charge it, which honestly only takes about a couple hours. So, you know, wake up, put your camera on the charger, and depending on when your shoot is, you should be good to go. The next thing I usually do is, <clears throat> sorry, I just ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so my throat is all peanut buttery. Anyway, the next thing I do while I'm waiting for my camera to charge is I go on Pinterest or Behance and I look up concepts. Like I just, I do it kind of on my own time, not necessarily the day of the shoot, but you know, that's how I prepare. So I go on Pinterest, I look up different concepts, different posing ideas, different, you know, inspiration. You guys know how Pinterest works, and if not, then I highly suggest it. I also really, really like Behance. Um, I'm in no way affiliated with them or sponsoring them. I just really, really like Behance. It's a website for a bunch of creatives to just put all of their photos. It's for like design, it's for photography, it's for painting, it's for literally everything. I like Behance because the photos that are uploaded on there have just a little bit more of an artistic quality to them and it's just all kind of right there and you can see it, it's easy to use. I highly suggest it. So the next thing I do, I will start, and this is a new thing that I've started doing, but then I will start writing down all of my ideas like actually physically writing them down so I kind of have something started right here for you guys just so you can kind of get an idea I do like lists of pose ideas lists of concepts that I want to do during the shoot I also go as far as drawing out the actual poses because for me it's kind of I found it to be a little bit difficult for me personally to try and explain poses to people and that's just because I'm pretty shy. Talking isn't very second nature to me so I really take to actions a lot more as you can probably tell since I talk with my hands like crazy. Drawing out the actual actions and even practicing them in the mirror really helps during the shoot because then you can be like okay yeah I want you to kind of do this. It just helps me kind of figure out where the legs are supposed to go, what the arms are supposed to look like all as a sequence. And sometimes I'll even write out like what I want to say to explain it. I get anxiety about words. <laughs> That's all. Next thing I do, I usually like to look my best. People are paying you and even if they're not paying you and, you're, and it's just friends, you still want to look professional like you really want to be there and you want to be doing this you want to look the part honestly dress appropriately for that shoot like if you're taking pictures of family maybe dress a little bit more modestly like you would for a family like portrait shoot when I'm doing a fashion shoot I will usually dress the part I'm not necessarily gonna get pictures taken of myself but I at least want to have like the same vibe so I can like be feeling myself while I'm taking pictures of like that fashion-esque shoot. Another thing that I do that is incredibly important and it has gotten me in a lot of problems before, always check the weather. Always. Always. And I don't know if it's just because I'm from a place that has a lot of different weather 
throughout the day. It really sucks when you get to a shoot and there's a blizzard that you weren't expecting and then your car gets stuck on a mountain for four hours. <laughs> it's really important to check the weather and always check it as soon as possible. Like don't do it like on the way to the shoot. Don't do it like an hour before the shoot. Like you want to make sure that like the weather is going to be fine when you have that shoot. Check it in the morning as soon as you wake up. If you see that it's going to rain, text your client immediately and be like, hey, I don't think this is going to work. I think we should reschedule this. And if they're insistent that we do it today and that no other day will work, then try and work something else out. Moral of the story, always check the weather before your shoot. That's a huge, huge thing. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do to prepare for a shoot. And I felt like this would be a good video because I am actually currently waiting to go to one of my shoots right now. So yeah, I hope you liked my video and my quick little, my quick little tips. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment if you liked this. It'll really help me out because it'll tell me whether I'm doing a good job or, you know, if this whole thing is even like worth the effort or whatever, you know. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.